Hi, welcome to another launch box video. Uh, on this video, we'll start showing you something about uh, Sega Model 2. Now, I know there's not many videos around on this that help you with launch box. There is one or two in foreign languages, but English is my first language and only language, so let's get started. As you can see, Model 2 is in there. We'll start with, uh, and we'll show you a game running in the end. So, you, what you need to do. Uh, set up your emulator So in your launch box folder mine's on an external hard drive uh, Just start off emulator and the folders you need are the configuration uh, Which is and the Sega uh, Model 2 emulator These are all available on Google and torrent sites everywhere. So it's not hard to find so Once you've got all that in there, then you'll and extract it You'll end up with a folder like so and all of that goes in there place a folder in there called roms put all your roms in there and that brings you down to your emulator so once you do your emulator what you have to do with this because once you scan it in like this it won't pick up any of the games with a controller i personally use an xbox one controller uh, or a playstation 3 controller they're my preferred choices of controllers so what you now have to do to set this all up is install the emulator. So once you've got it all running like this and all, all extracted, uh, ignore some of these like Gunblade, etc. That's off uh, something else that I've copied in. Uh, right, so what you need to do is put the emulator in. So as normal, go to your tab bar in the corner, top left, Tools, Manage, Emulators, uh, Add, uh, once you click add mine's in there so I'm just going to click edit because I've already added it J just type in there Sega Model 2 it'll probably already fill itself in uh, then select your exe which is just browse to where you keep it in your launch box or whichever on your hard drive uh, emulators Sega Model 2 and there just click it in and, and open and that's when it's in there you don't need to touch anything else default platforms tick sega model 2 default emulator uh, and that's pretty much it click ok and then close and that's the, the sega model 2 emulator in uh, on launch box now we'll go back to your emulator what you'll need to do is click on it open it up set some things up click on there auto switch to full screen what that does is as soon as the game loads it goes into full screen which is going to massively help uh, on, on your launch box uh, so what you need to do next is, is conf configure every ROM now you'll notice in the ROMs you'll see like maybe two folders now to make this work all you do is click load ROM and you'll see all of these like Daytona USA's etc the only running one that works well is the 93 edition so all you have to do is double click on it and it'll load like so press escape once you've got escape press click there configure a controls and this is where you'll turn your game controllers you have to do this for each and every game so what you need to do is click double click on, on there then press your joypad up down left right analog stick all you have to do to do the steering for the game is just click on it and then i use the xbox one pad so i use the left analog horizontal for steering left to right accelerator i use the l and r trigger buttons on the back uh, right for, tr for accelerate left for brake shift I use L1 and shift 2 is R1 uh, and shift for neutral uh, you can mess about with them but I use automatic cars anyway so your VR1 button view I've select, selected as button A button B is 2 3 and 4 as you can see coin start sorry start I've clicked as the start button on the Xbox pad uh, and coin one, uh, which is entering a coin, I've select as the select button on the Xbox One pad. Once you've done that, 
Don't forget, you've got other controls in there, which is the service and test. You can change languages into English, uh, but that'll come under export. So all you do is do that, press F2, and that'll bring you into your modes. And uh, once you've configured everything, you can use your A button or button one to go through game system, uh, and then you can change it because Daytona tends to not load up straight away. You've got to change the system. So change it to export and cabinet as deluxe. And then once you've done that, just press exit, go down, exit, and exit test mode, which will do on its own. Once you've done all of that, just close it down, and now it will be in your launch box. As you can see, there's two day two day tokens there. It's only 93 deluxe edition which works uh, so just double click that hopefully you're seeing all of this press the select button next point please select a race course that's it so it is please choose manual or automatic transmission automatic okay. gentlemen start your engine escape quit your game uh, and you've got to do that for every single game so bring it up come out of there you've got to configure it every single game and do it that way load it maybe uh, press F1 to go into test mode F2 uh, but configure it every single controller so we'll click the emulator load game uh, IndyCar which I, I like. But don't forget, this was as good just not long after Daytona. Uh, IndyCar, there you go. The deluxe one is the one that loads. Or is it the twin? The way to check it is to load it up on Xbox, uh, on the launch box menu. That's the wrong one. You'll notice by the credits on the launch box one. It's two credits. Uh, so that means it must be load run. Uh, IndyCar, IndyCar. You'll have this 500. The newer, that's the one it is. That's the one it loads on Launchbox. So double click that, load it up, and then we'll mess around with some settings. Once it's loaded, you'll notice the difference now. It'll come up with just insert two coins. There you go, insert two coins. So you know which folder to pick off. Please select the course. Uh, don't forget this is the Daytona, so. Please select like the transmission. How to make transmission. Ladies and gentlemen, start, start your engine. It's nice to be able to play these bowling suits. These are equivalent to Saturn games, aren't they? Already set the view buttons in. Go!
And once you've done all of that, you're pretty much ready to roll. But don't forget, you've got to change each and every game uh, on the emulator first, making sure on your recap that you've got auto switch to full screen and configure each game. So just start the game from here, press escape, and then click that there, configure controls, set your controller up, close it down, and then it'll be in launch box. But just check out which one loads up each time and then find that one. It's a process sometimes you have to go through on the uh, emulator list as to which one works. Like, remember, Daytona 93 edition is the only loading one. The rest of them don't load. So yeah, that's the best thing to do. And that's Sega Model 2 emulator for launch box. Uh, you know where to get all the emulator and all the ROMs. Uh, there's plenty of sites out there to get that through Google plus torrent sites. That's where I got mine from. Uh, but yeah, enjoy. Any questions, please do ask in the box below. Any comments, please leave in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. Don't pass by without hitting the like button. As a community, we need those likes and shares and etc. Take care. Next, coming up soon, will be a Model 3 emulator into Launchbox. Bye for now.